Welcome to Living the Empowered Life podcast, where we discuss all things empowering, encouraging and inspiring. My name is Yvonne Ellis. I'm an empowerment speaker, author, coach, trainer and founder of Yumi Empowerment, a company that facilitates the empowerment of people. I help people to make positive life change, live in their purpose and develop into their best version of self. I share stories, interviews, spiritual encouragement and actionable tips to empower, encourage and inspire you to live the life you want. So if you want to live the empowered life, join me each week on my podcast so we can take the journey together. Hello Empowered Lifers, welcome to episode 34 of Living the Empowered Life podcast. If it's your first time listening in, welcome to you. I hope you find this episode empowering, encouraging or inspiring. Also to my continued listeners, thank you for listening in as always. I appreciate you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. So I'm recording this podcast on Saturday the 26th of February. It's a lovely sunny afternoon down here in South London. Doesn't mean though that the sun is shining, that it's warm, but it looks warm outside. I haven't stepped out yet. But anyway, it's a bright day and actually spring is only around the corner. So we're just about to go into the third month of 2022. The time has just passed so quickly. And before you know it, you know, this year is going to be coming towards an end. So I just wanted to give you some updates, really. The pep talk is coming up towards the end of March. I'm actually going to do it. I've set myself a time to just put everything together and hopefully in the next couple of weeks I shall have a flyer ready for pep talk. And basically it's just a talk to encourage those of you who have goals or things you want to do this year just to continue on because I know the first 30 days, first maybe two months of a new year, people are always amped and ready to go, full of enthusiasm for the things that they want to do. But somewhere along the line, you know, the enthusiasm starts to wane and, you know, the things that people want to do sometimes, you know, they start to not be as invested as at the beginning of the year. So that is why a pep talk is needed. So in other news, a couple of days ago, I did my first talk of the year with students at Kensington and Chelsea College. Well, it's called Morley College now, actually, but every year for the last three years, apart from the last two because of COVID, I am invited to speak to year one early years degree students about my experiences of overcoming childhood trauma and uh, how that had an effect and impact on my development as a young child. And as always, you know, it it was an honour to go and speak to the students. Uh, It was a really good evening. The students asked lots of questions. But I got in really, really late, actually. I got in like nearly about half 11 on Thursday. So I didn't post, you know, any pictures or anything until later that evening. I've still got to post it on a couple of my other social pages. But it was a really, really good experience. So it was really great to be able to go and share my experiences again so that those professionals and practitioners and different people who work with children can help children to live an empowered life by using the knowledge that they've gained from my talks and different things like that to empower children, to help children to, you know, find their voice if they're going through certain things or to look out for things that children may be going through. So it was a real honour to do that. So on my YouTube channel, Living the Empowered Life, I am looking to do more interviews with other people who are living the empowered life. If you're not following me over on my YouTube channel, Living the Empowered Life, please do so. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. And as well, you know, just continue to follow me on this platform. Don't forget to hit the follow or subscribe button on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or Stitcher to follow this podcast because I do bi-weekly episodes. So in today's episode, I want to talk to you about it's time to say goodbye. Not that I'm saying goodbye. (laughs) Wouldn't that be sad if this podcast had to come to an end before it really began? I know. Anyway, I digress. What if I told you that goodbyes are an important part of living an empowered life? I will share with you why I believe that is. But before I do, I want to share with you some quotes about saying goodbye. So the first quote says, Nothing lasts forever. Forever is a lie. 
All we have is what's between hello and goodbye. The next quote says, the only time a goodbye is painful is when you know you'll never say hello again. Another quote says, it's hard to say goodbye to what you want forever. This quote says, goodbye is the most painful way to solve a problem. And the last quote I wanna share with you says, every goodbye makes the next hello closer. So what did you think about those quotes? Did any of them ring true for you about goodbyes? My favorite quote out of all of them is, goodbye is the most painful way to solve a problem. I think that quote resonated with me out of all of them the most because I have found this to be true in my experience. So the truth is you can't say hello and embrace the new whilst holding on and not saying goodbye to the things that are holding you back from living the empowered life. That's why I think it's important to live in the empowered life to say goodbye to certain things. So a reason a lot of people do not recognize when it's time to say goodbye to someone or something is because of the comfort that thing brings. On the other hand, other people do recognize it's time to say goodbye to whatever it is, but they find it hard to let go. And what I've noticed about goodbyes is that it can come in many different ways. It could be saying goodbye to a relationship, a friendship, a job, habit, a way of life. Sometimes goodbyes doesn't happen by choice. Sometimes circumstances initiate it. Or sometimes life just happens, like when someone dies. Or even a discovery of a betrayal. I remember one of the hardest goodbyes I've ever had to say in my life. When I was taken into care by social services after disclosing sexual abuse by my father as a child, I had to say goodbye to my family, my home, my friends, my way of life. I cried. I was scared. The goodbye was so abrupt. I felt alone and depressed. But that was not the only time in my life that I had to say goodbye. There have been many situations and circumstances since. And what I've learned is that goodbyes are a part of the cycle of life. Saying goodbye is not easy to do. So I want to share with you some reasons why I believe saying goodbye is hard. Because it's upsetting. It signifies the end of a era, chapter in your life. It's awkward. It's scary. It causes fear. It's comfortable. Maybe it's all you've ever known. Maybe you're scared of the unknown. What will happen after this goodbye? Maybe it is also dreading starting again or starting afresh. This tends to happen with people the older they get because some people, well, a lot of people have a better stick with what you know mentality. But you know, to live an empowered life will call for some goodbyes. As I mentioned, letting go of the old to embrace the new. It could be saying goodbye to old ways of doing things, goodbye to certain people. This is not a negative thing. Sometimes people outgrow each other. Sometimes people are only in your life for a reason or a season. Other times it's time to move on from that person because that relationship has become toxic, harmful, abusive. Also saying goodbye to the old you to embrace the person you are evolving into. You can be the old version of you and develop the new you at the same time, but it's a transitional journey going from the old to the new. So I was reminded through a Bible scripture actually about the journey from old to new and it is from the Bible, NIV version I'm reading from and the book of Matthew chapter 9 verse 16 to 17 and in this text Jesus is talking. So it says, no one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth onto an old garment. The patch will pull away from the garment making the tear worse. Verse 17, neither do people pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst. The wine will run out and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins and both are preserved. The new things you're trying to do will be ruined by the things you should be saying goodbye to. The old ways, the old relationships, they signify the old wineskins. 
So I want to share with you quickly some signs to recognize it's time to say goodbye. These are things that I've recognized from my experience. You might recognize some of the things that I'm about to share. It causes you more harm than good. You don't have any inner peace. You are not growing, evolving or becoming a better person with the thing you can't say goodbye to. Maybe you know in your heart it's time to say goodbye, but you don't know how to. Saying goodbye, as I mentioned, is really hard to do. But, you know, if you are determined to live an empowered life, if you are determined, you know, to embrace the new things that you want for your life, you will say goodbye. As I mentioned from that quote, you know, goodbye is a painful solution. And it doesn't mean that to do it, it will be easy. It will be hard, but it can be done. So I want to share with you a couple of things about how to say goodbye. Again, this is from my experiences. So in terms of relationships, it could be that you start to lessen contact with that person. Or if it's something else, you know, you do it less. You don't indulge in it anymore. Basically, it is like prizing that thing's fingers off your life and you do it in steps. So, for example, I remember I had this kind of friendship relationship that was really not good for me. You know, it caused me a lot of pain. And because it was something I was always used to, I found it very difficult to let go. So what I had to do is to prize its fingers off my life. So first of all, I wouldn't allow that person to come around anymore. And then when that person called, I would, you know, keep the phone calls very short and sweet. And then I got to a stage where I didn't even answer that person's calls. And it was just little things like that. And after a while, the person got the message because I tried before to say goodbye in one swift swoop and it just didn't work. But when I did it this way, step by step, lessening contact, not being in a person's company anymore and all that stuff, I found it easier. Another thing that you can do is to write down why it's beneficial to say goodbye to that thing. Remember for yourself the positives, why this thing or relationship or habit cannot come with you on your journey to living a new life. Remind yourself why the hello of the new thing is much more important than the goodbye of the old thing. You could also write down as well, the positives and negatives of not saying goodbye to the old thing and compare it to the new thing that you want. That could be another way of reminding you of why it's important to say goodbye to the old thing so that you can embrace the new. Goodbye in many cases is seen as a bad thing. I think that a lot of people have that connotation when it comes to goodbye, that goodbye is something that is very um, painful and awful all the time. Yes, in some cases it is like that, as I mentioned, maybe somebody passes who you love, but goodbye in other circumstances does not have to be a negative or bad thing. And as we finish, I want to share with you some lyrics from a song by someone who used to be one of my favourite rappers, Um, after Tupac of course. (laughs) I always used to love rap music and um, obviously as I've evolved and grown in time obviously it's not so much anymore and one of my favourite rappers used to be somebody called Nas. I had all of his albums, I knew all of his lyrics word for word but he had a song called Nothing Lasts Forever and some of the lyrics said So it says everything will eventually come to an end. So try to save it a moment because time flies, don't it? The beauty of life, you've got to make it last for the better because nothing lasts forever. I love those lyrics. I think it just signifies the beauty of goodbye and understanding that goodbye is part of life. It is part of the cycle of life. As usual, I will post an episode notification on my Instagram, which is Yimi Empowerment, Y-E-M-E underscore empowerment. If you're on Instagram, go follow me over there. I share things that I do to live an empowered life. I share quotes. I share different things over there. So follow me over there. I will also post notification of this episode on my Yumi Empowerment Facebook page and my Twitter. So the question I'm asking you this week is, are you ready to say goodbye to something? I want you to answer yes or no. And then I want you to complete this sentence. So I'm going to start the sentence for you and then you're going to add what you want to add, why it's important to say goodbye at the end of it. So the sentence will start with saying goodbye to this thing will, and then you'll put, for example, empower me, 
or you might put free me or you could put help me to become a healthier person. You might put make better choices, boost my confidence. Let me know through completing that sentence why it's time to say goodbye. So that is it for this episode. Thank you for listening in. I hope that you have found this episode to be empowering, encouraging or inspiring. If you are struggling to say goodbye to certain things within your life, you might want to check out my empowerment coaching. I help people in collaborative partnership to work with them on any kind of challenges they may be currently facing in their life. It's not psychotherapy or counselling. People who have done counselling find that empowerment coaching is the next step for them to help them to start to get on track to live the life they want. I will leave links to the empowerment coaching in the show notes below. You can check that out for yourself. I have a free assessment on there that you can do to get a taste of what empowerment coaching is about. Also as well, I have the courage course, which is an action plan to help you to take courage, teaches you what courage is about, what it entails, how you can develop courage, you know, this is a fantastic online course. So please do check that out as well. And also as well, if you're looking for something to help you to understand what a courageous journey of goodbye looks like, check out my new book, Into the Unknown. It's available on Amazon, Waterstones, my own Nimi Empowerment store. I will leave links to that below. So until the next episode, take care.